What's up guys, Telephone here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best keybinds for people switching to keyboard and mouse from controller. So when you switch to keyboard and mouse, you need a keyboard and mouse that, that is at least decent. So for the mouse, you need a mouse button with side buttons. Fortnite has so many different binds, so it is really hard to fit them when it's all on just a keyboard. Also, side buttons make your binds more optimal because your movement won't be good when you're trying to build using all keybinds on your keyboard. If you're trying to find one mouse to buy, I really recommend the Razer Viper Mini because it is really cheap and very durable. Alright, so for the keyboard, you don't need an Apex Pro TKO that your favorite Pro has. If you're trying to get a keyboard that has a really fast response time, you should either get the GK61 or the Razer Huntsman Mini or the TE if you don't like 60% keyboards. Another thing is that when you die to someone because of your binds that you're not used to, don't change back to controller or your old binds. All you need is time to get used to your new binds and it's going to be better in the long run. And also, I really don't recommend changing your binds very often, but once in a couple months should be fine. Alright, so for your mouse pad, you don't need a very good mouse pad, but just a $20 mouse pad will be fine when you start at keyboard and mouse. Alright guys, now I'm on Fortnite, and I'm going to be showing you guys my keybinds. For the second tab of the Fortnite settings, for movement, toggle sprint should be off. So sprint by default is really important because you don't need to be holding a bind while running. Sprint cancels reloading should be off, auto open door should be on because when you mess up edits, can instantly open the doors. Multi swap pickup, I have it off. Toggle targeting off. Mark danger while I'm targeting on. You need to double click your ping button. It marks the little red thing so your teammates will know like where the danger is going on. So offer the auto pickup weapons, I have it off. Preferred item slots, I have it on. And these are my settings. What this does is when you have a certain item in your inventory, it makes it go to that slot. And you can just select it however you like. Auto store consumables to the right, I have it on. Reset building choice off. Disable pre edit option on. This is really important if you're a beginner because you will mess up a lot of edits by pre editing them. Turbo building, you should have it on, obviously. Confirm edit on release, you should have it on. Alright, so for the third tab, you can just choose whatever type of skill you'd like. I have it on 61% though. And none of these really matter, basically. Just have it as default fine so for the sensitivity guys in my opinion this season is all about aiming because i have the smgs and stuff you can literally destroy someone so fast with an smg so i'm using a really slow sense i'm using 800 dpi with 5.9 percent and targeting sensitivity 100 percent scope sensitivity is 100 percent as i used to change my sensitivity a lot it used to be at 12 percent i went to 12 percent 9 percent 7 percent and 5.9 percent i just went slower as like time went on because I needed my aim to get better. Slow sense will always have better aim than fast sense. Alright, so for the movement section, I have all these turned off because you can have them turned off while using the Wooting Double Movement software. Jump and spacebar sprint, I have set it to nothing because I have sprint by default on. Auto run, I have it equals. Crouch, I have it left control. Fire, left click, target, right click, R, reload, UC, and mouse wheel up. The so square wheel pickup is really important because you will literally have a better chance of picking something up before your opponent does. This has saved a lot of my games and this is a must have. For the pickaxe, I have it as this button right here, like the back side button right here. And for the weapon slots, I have it at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is just crash wall building, just the same thing as your crashing bind. For the wall, it's Q, floor, it's the bind right here, the mouse button, the front one. For stairs, it's E. The cone, it's left shift. Trap, it's T. And for place building, I have it as left click, obviously. Repair, I have it O. Rotate building, R. It's the default line. Change building material, it is right click. Building edit, it's F. Editing, you should have it as F as well, but I never set it as that. Building edit is left click. For reset, building edit is mouse wheel down. All right, so square wheel reset, you really need it if you're a keyboard and mouse player. So all you have to do is just set this thing as mouse wheel down and your reset building edit to mouse wheel down. Like nothing important here, but for ping, I use my middle mouse button. So it's like I press on this thing. For map, I use tab. I never use M. And for toggle inventory, I use it as grave, the button right above tab. And that's it for the keybinds tab. And for the video tab, for the windows mode, you need it as full screen to get the less input delay and the most FPS you can get. And in resolution, it is native to 1920 by 1080. And for your frame rate limit, you should have it as your hertz, as your monitor hertz. For the brightness, I have it as 100%. I have colorblind off. Radio resolution, all the way up. View distance near, texture low, meshes high. V 
vsync off show fps on and performance mode if you guys never tried performance mode i really recommend it it is really good it makes your game feel better than direct x11 so if you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and peace out